So, Gingerbread Cottage, Vanessa. <laughs> Hello there. Hey, what are we doing today, Vanessa? Well, today I'd like to show you a recipe from one of my first books, which is called Victorian Gifts. If you're interested in more, you can download it, or you can get a PDF or order the book. But anyhow, that's not what this is about. Yeah. I'd like to share my recipe for Herbs de Provence. Herbs de Provence? Yes. yes. Uh, from the south of France. Yes. Um, they can be used in so many ways. We use them for our breakfast, for our potatoes. Yeah. We've um, sautéed the potatoes in butter and yeah. garlic butter, a little olive oil. Yes. And then at the end we put some sea salt on it and some herbs to Provence. gives fantastic flavor. Okay. You can use the herbs on steak, on vegetables, on oven roasted vegetables, mm -hmm. um, for stews, fantastic for stews, yeah. really good. Um, you can hardly buy them in the store. You have to go to a specialty store, but it's yeah. so easy to make. You may as well. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. So all right, so you have the makings here. Processor. Okay. Now, first of all, uh, what is in here are fennel seeds as well. And yeah. Fennel seeds don't do so well in the food processor. So what I'm doing is, oops, I'm gonna, going to put them into my... Um, into my coffee uh, grinder. Coffee grinder. That's about it. Well, I use it as a spice grinder. I have many. Yeah. Half a cup. Yeah. But don't make it totally, totally, um, uh, totally fine. Where do you get fennel seeds you to can start buy with? Them. Okay. You can buy them in the store. Um, you definitely get all these herbs in a better quality from the. Uh, health food store, so yeah. I put the fennel seeds in, half okay. a cup. Yeah. Then we use half a cup of lavender. And I have two types of lavender. This is a light lavender. Yeah. Um, and this is about half a cup. Lavender is a very important ingredient yeah. in, in Herbs de Provence. I use the okay. light one for cooking. The dark one, the heat coat lavender, comes from English gardens. That yeah. one is used for jellies. Okay. You know, but you can use them. Because you need the color. Yeah. You need the color. Yeah. yeah. So we have half a cup of lavender, half a cup of fennel. Then we put one cup of oregano. Now, actually, I'm working here in parts. You yeah. can make parts too, which means you take one tablespoon instead of yeah. one cup, right? Yeah. So here I have oregano. Um, just a moment, so I'm not confused. One cup. Full cup. Okay. Put it in your food processor. You don't have to be, you know, that dazzle. You're confused because you never really measure anything, do you? Well, I can't. Yeah. You're just doing that for this, right? <laughs> well, this one actually I do measure. Dazzle, okay. one yeah. cup. Yeah. Okay, and what you use, put it away. Rosemary, one cup. And this is fresh rosemary from the garden. You can see there are some stray leaves in here. We, of yeah. course, take those out. Put okay. the back, back. So you dry that or can that it's be dried. wet? dried. Not, not fresh. No, you need dry. Okay. And what's this one? A majorum. Majorum. Okay. Is that one just cup. a spice that you one have? Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, savory. Yeah. One cup. Mm -hmm. But you, you, normally a house person, would they make this no, much? No, you don't have to make that much, unless you want to make some for your friends as a nice gift, you okay, know? Okay, yeah, and it's, a, re it's Christmas, a really good gift Very Christmas, nice yeah. gift, and I'll show you how to do it. Yeah. Here we have thyme, one cup, okay. two cups, okay, okay, over here. Now you put it on your food processor, Yeah. and you make it as fine as you want. I like to have it a little coarse, okay. because it shows the herbs, yeah. it's a little more rustic. Okay. Actually. So it's chopped up that. Look, yeah. Uh, oh, this, the, the, the flavor is yeah. really like you're walking in a herb garden. Yeah, right? you can smell it here. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It's totally yeah. amazing. Uh -huh. So do yourself a favor, make your own herb to Provence. Yeah. Okay. What I do is I have a very nice jar here, an antique, actually, yeah. or a yeah. vintage, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I'll take this off later. And I just go and fill it up. Yeah. As a gift for someone. 
or for that, how many years supply would that be for somebody wow, a normal no. normal house cook? I have no idea. What, you know, it depends how much they cook, how much yeah, they, you know, if right. they use them a lot. But I yeah. would say make some for your friends. Yeah. Give it to them for yeah. Christmas yeah. or whatever. And what we have, I have these little labels. Uh oh, that's our cockatoo yeah, who wants exactly. to be in the show. Uh, yeah, her yeah. So here. Put a label on. Put a label on. This one is a little chopped yeah. off, but yeah. you know, you try to do better. So, how and much would that sell for that amount uh, in your gift shop? Depends. Probably $20, $20 worth. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a bit. So, it would yeah. make a nice $20 gift? Yeah, it would make a nice gift. Yeah. And how much do you think the ingredients the jar, would cost the for jar that? Is, is expensive. This jar is expensive, right? The ingredients yeah. uh, depends where you buy them, right? Yeah, yeah. We have our own rosemary, it doesn't cost, our own lavender, yeah. it doesn't yeah. cost me anything. Um, yeah. And I like to buy them actually at the health food store because they have some more organic stuff. I don't know exactly yeah. what it is, but it's organic. Pesticide free or pesticide something. Yeah. Free, yeah. And see, yeah. this is my jar for the kitchen. Okay. And I fill that up. Right away you always myself. put it on the breakfast potatoes always at the, the gingerbread cottage, potatoes. and, yeah. uh, and they they're the most popular item. Yeah, yeah, everybody loves them. Yeah. So herbs yeah. de Provence, easy to make. Yeah. And done in five minutes. Okay. Right. Have okay. your jars ready, a little label, handwrite the label, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll attach a recipe to this, maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And time. yeah. Otherwise, it's on the. Exact measurements. Are okay, be, you can right? you can buy the yeah, yeah. the book also here, on our website. Here, here it is. Oh, here, yeah. yeah. One part majorum, one, one part, part basil. basil, two parts thyme, yeah. half part dried lavender, one part rosemary, half part fennel, one part oregano. There you are. Mix course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can well, read you this. Saw that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Great.